so the question is define smart objects explain its characteristics which is asked for eight marks in the, for the exam july august 2022 so the question consists of two sections right so define smart objects and explain its characteristics so what is meant by a smart object in general you know what is meant by a smart object is that an object that can sense and communicate with other objects people and systems right so moving on to the definition let me allot one mark for the definition smart objects are quite simply the building blocks of iot they are what transform the everyday object into a network of intelligent objects that are able to learn from and interact with their environment in a meaningful way right now uh, the next uh, section is your characteristics mainly uh, your smart object consists of totally of four characteristics a smart object is a device that has a minimum the following four defining characteristics so what are the four important characteristics first one is your processing unit okay so processing unit so what is meant by processing unit a smart object has some type of processing unit for uh, what acquiring data processing and analyzing sensing information received from the sensors coordinating control signals to any actuators and controlling a variety of functions on the smart object including the communication and power system right so these are the functions this is the reason why you want a processing unit the specific type of processing unit that is used can be vary greatly depending on the specific processing needs of the different application so it is application dependent so one of the commonly used processing unit is nothing but the microcontroller what are the advantages of microcontroller because it has a small uh, form factor flexibility programming simplicity ubiquity low power consumption and low cost okay so these are the points which you can write for your processing unit second one uh, of the main characteristic is your sensors and actuators okay a smart object is capable of interacting with the physical world through the sensors and actuators right so a smart object does not need to contain both sensors and actuators in fact a smart object can contain one or multiple sensors and or actuators depending upon the application so this is also application dependent so the third characteristics uh, of your uh, smart object is the communication device very very important characteristic the communication unit is responsible for connecting a smart object with other smart objects and the outside world via the network right the communication devices for smart objects can either be wired communication or wireless communication but in most of the cases we go for wireless communication in iot network smart objects are wirelessly connected for a number of reasons so what are the reasons some of the reasons are including cost limited infrastructure availability and ease of deployment okay and the fourth characteristic is uh, your power source so smart objects have components that need to be powered Inter interestingly the most uh, significant power consumption usually comes from the communication unit of a smart object as with other three smart object this is also specific to application uh, build, uh, as with the other three smart object building blocks the power requirements also vary greatly from application to application typically smart objects are limited in power are deployed for very long time and are not easily accessible this combination especially when the smart object relies on the battery power implies that so what are the important design elements one is your power efficiency power management sleep modes and ultra low power consumption hardware are critical design elements okay so for long term deployments power is commonly obtained from for wherever you have long long term deployments power can be obtained from scavenger sources like solar piezo electric etc so finally you can uh, draw the characteristics in the form of a diagram where mainly it consists of power source then communication device then uh, tiny low cost computer and your sensor and actuator so power source can be either from scavenger that is uh, solar or wind battery or mains communication device what is the communication uh, device it receives instructions sends or routes data self organizing into the networks so what is actuator capable of performing a task such as change uh, traffic lights rotate a mirror etc sensor that can measure a physical data 
example temperature vibration pollution etc and always you will be having a tiny low cost computer which is embedded into the objects to make them smart can be organized into the networks so i can allot for the diagram one mark definition diagram one mark definition one mark right so remaining six marks will be allotted to the explanation so total can be for eight marks